Never change direction. And so just a quick whip of the mouse. Managed to go into the brush, but obviously keen. Quick to react. We got a gank coming down here. There's the root and into the stun. The first will be enough. The GP. I don't know about this one, team. He's really trying his best. He's gonna try to burst down barrel. Oh. They do get him with a flash afterwards. Kind of unfortunate on the side of Keen. Was a, was a nice gank in the beginning, but then it does uh, it just turns into a one for one. Keep in mind, guys, that Keen is mid. That's why the, uh, the, the set rose from the mid lane. That looks weird to you. Um, and the Zoe is top up yeah. against this Soraka, so they move set out of his hard lane up against an Azir, which I suppose is not that easy either. Yeah, mages fare a lot better against Soraka in general. Yeah. And so taking a look at the Really nice setup by Nuclear. Rooting Mystic, Teleport came in. Feral just caught inside of that set true damage. As true damage Senna walking away. It all makes sense. It all, yeah, it does. Mystic and Jelly though, they have the lane in a fantastic spot. Spirit comes down, not gonna be able to actually achieve anything just yet. And Showmaker on this Azir, that is a very old Azir skin. I actually think the icon wow. for that skin is one of the best that you can get. Well, why is that? It just looks really nice. Looks nice. Yeah, it looks okay. like a very prestigious bird. As he is. Yeah. Ooh, prestigious Azir skin. As that would be, that would be nice. <laughs> Let's get it going right Yeah. Here. Get it together already. Well, they need to save that for the Azir buffs. Whatever they come. Do we want Azir buffs? Azir and Corky buffs. Let's get it going. Yeah. Why waste any time? Let's just let's get them back in the meta. Alright, well. Set here in mid lane, not actually doing all that bad given that he did teleport down to bottom. So we'll see what his CS actually is at the end. As he's not under any pressure from Showmaker right now. That's cleanse, by the way. Not gonna get a whole bunch of value out of that in Show this lane in particular. Showmaker has cleanse, nuclear has cleanse. Yeah. There's very, a lot of there's clean. a lot yeah. Very sanitary. Yes. And Canyon trying to make his way up here into top lane, but again, lane manipulation doesn't make any sense for it. You have a way of pushing into the Zoe. Zoe's not overextended. You don't have a sizable enough minion wave to where you're just gonna randomly threaten a dive. So, what are you trying to do? Why is Canyon up there? Good question. Cloud Dragon is live. Everyone rotating. Keen coming over a wall. Pillar. Oh, nice pillar. They're oh, gonna man. Beat him under turret. There's no TPs available. Wish is available. And. If they can oh. wish their way out of this. Look at that. We clear. They're going straight for nuclear, though. The wish comes down, but it's not enough as Keen tanks it up perfectly. One more shot will be enough, and that is a two-kill play under the turret here for Afrika. And this is really accelerating the Caitlyn, which is going to then convert into more turret plates as they open up the map and just sort of move her around. She is one of the best turret shredders in the game. Fly knows this must be one of the responses that it, oh, <laughs> I, that was so close. That yeah. was very close. That was very big too. That's a lot, that would be a lot of XP that's denied. For sure. As they're gonna take the Cloud Dragon, they might initiate lane swap here. They could send set bottom Zoe back into mid and rotate Caitlyn set a top lane. That way, they would be the ones in close proximity to the Ripped Herald and be more favored to end up getting it and then converting it into a top turret capture, thus further accelerating the Caitlyn and the Senna. Okay, so they just decide halfway through that Keen is gonna stay top. He was looking for, I thought it was a roam again. 
But the mid lane was being pushed in quite well, so I suppose they just decided to swap as Nuclear, trying his best to clear the wave, but he gets hit by Senna. Once that happens, you kind of feel that it's all over. And, yep, Keen is perfectly taking the turret acro. As Don Juan, they're trying to get this Herald. They pulled their bot lane over for it. This is the thing I always talk about. Notice, Nuclear and Barrel pulled away from this. They've just lost one, now two minion waves in bottom. That invalidates the gold and then some from the Herald capture itself. Now they're going to convert into turret plates and share XP, but the bot lane is going to get turret plates down in bot. So the net gain is actually a loss. It's not, it's not a net gain by rotating for the Herald. And it, even if you make the argument that you're trying to accelerate the map state, it's not that good against the Caitlyn Senna. Yeah. And in a way, it feels like they're trying to escape the Caitlyn Senna, especially yes. after the dive, but I, I don't know if it ends up being even an even trade, because at the end of the day, they pushed so hard after the dive that already the first turret is going to go the way of Afrika, and they just give up on sending it top. They're just going to go mid. Yeah. And this is actually quite nice if they can raise this turret here. It's very valuable against the control mage that is the Zoe. As... Not going to be able to get four plates off this turret, at least not yet. They still got four minutes. Fly picking up a proto belt. It must be nice to run like God. As I'm going to try to clear out this wave. Athene's almost completed on the Soraka. Another Nashor's tooth belt here for Nazir. He's going down that path. And because of the way the bot lane went, this means that Mystic and Jelly will be here to catch the wave. They miss nothing on the map as Caitlyn. 4.3 thousand up in the top side. He's got the most gold in the game, the highest CS, the most turret place, and he's got the most friends, the coolest dudes. He's just got everything up there. Stop talking about Alice. What? What? <laughs> All right, two minutes until a mountain dragon bell is. Okay. Okay. Set your timer. Oh, wait, we have one out there. Yeah. Already. <laughs> you are a Forgot bit about Papega. That. Forgot about that one. <laughs> On your last game here. It's been, it's been a long week for me. I think I'm calling in sick tomorrow. I think you got one more day. Ooh, nice. <laughs> one more day in you. <laughs> you gotta get the, keep that streak going. Yeah. yeah. Well, looks like Apilios and Tarek able to repel the pressure to a certain extent. Jelly, is he going to be able to get the turret? He will. Or the ward. <laughs> the turret ward. And looking for a super duper plex. Ooh. Let's see if he can do this. Oh, he's brought his friend. The troll this from the jungle. Not, yeah, this is not fair. So make her nose. And uh, they couldn't run away from it. There's still turret plates available, by the way, that they're getting as Canyon and Eden. The jungle trying to trade oh, your wish. wish will be good, but Senna from the top lane snipes him down. Showmaker is going to have to run with his tail between his legs. And another good trade here for Afrika, making the Senna Caitlyn lane look like a god yeah, tier lane. Yeah, it is lane. a very powerful lane kingdom lane where Senna scales so well as a support or as an AD carry. So take your poison for what you're going up against. And I, I'm really happy to see Caitlyn coming back here. Very big fan of her. feel like she's very underappreciated in the meta right now. As Afrika, in this game, they are at a pretty comfortable 3,000 gold advantage. Half the Cloud Drake, they're gonna pick up the Mountain, most certainly. And that's just going to make them a little bit more durable against the Olaf and the Aphilios. Not so much the Azir. They don't really build tons of magic resistance. But yeah. if Afrika rolls an Ocean Soul, Sorok is not happy. <laughs> Shut it down. Yeah. Caitlyn's having a grand old time up here. And after the initial ridiculousness of the way that this game started, probably the funniest game I've ever cast, 
in the beginning. It looks like we might slow down from here. As you see Canyon, he makes his way down. He may go, you know, he'll be able to survive, but not with Senna. Oh. Keen, super flexing away. You can Showing off. You can stop the, the shuffle with your pillar, right? The what shuffle? The Serena shuffle. I... I believe so. Yeah. I feel like I've seen that we'll, before. We'll go with that. <laughs> Until people start yelling at us. Yeah. But, but uh, yeah, I mean, if you can, I, I feel like you should have just ran at Showmaker and waited for him to shuffle and then use it. If you can't, then, I mean, of course, just throw it out there and see if maybe Showmaker messes it up. Either way, Showmaker got away. He's still perfect KDA, zero, zero, zero. Well, Paprika was probably waiting. They did roll the Ocean Dragon. And so if they can get that soul online at the 24 minute mark or so, it is gonna be lights out. Ocean Soul plus Senna is just gonna be out of this world for the Don Juan Gaming Team Composition to try to handle. As Don Juan, they were brewing for a Rift Herald fight, but it looks like Afrika is just gonna say, sure, yeah, have that 15 minute plateless Rift Herald capture. We're gonna get more solo XP and minion waves that you're missing out on, as well as a turret. And I feel like pro teams around the world, they tunnel on these heralds way too much without really looking at what's being lost. And that's the thing, you really have to look at the current game state because sometimes it makes sense. You know, if you're if you're ahead and you're able to just throw your juggler over there to pick it up quickly, that can work as we have a little trade down here in the bottom side. The poke is out of control. Even Jelly is just pushing them all the way back. But yeah, I mean, on the, on the Surly topic, on the second Rift Heralds, Sometimes it's not a good idea, sometimes it is, so it's, it's, it's not exactly black and white. It's, sometimes it's a gray area, you have to yeah. figure it out. And uh, sometimes the teams don't, uh, don't make the right decision. And it can be hard when you make the decision and then you feel forced to do it, even though you know it's a losing trade. You're like, oh, I guess we just have to take it now that we've left the bottom lane wide open. At this point, things are just looking.